Hi Pisces, it's me G1 Writer here with G1 Insights and I'm here to do your career, life, love, health and everything combined. <laughs> here is your life and love focus for the month of November 2018. Please like, share, subscribe, share this message around the world because every Pisces needs to hear this message, okay? Just do it, okay. So... <clears throat> So, Pisces, it seems like there's a lot going on when it comes to money. That's good, right? Right, right. Because you, Pisces, you would love, love, love money. Oh, yeah. So, when it comes to money, cha-ching is literally on, okay? Some of you, some of you, not all of you, because, see, some of you be playing too many games, uh, but then some of you who realize what is really happening and that you really do need to advance your career, oh yeah, it's on, okay? <clears throat> For some of you, you will actually make a really good counselor, okay? For those of you that don't know me, by the way, I just realized I just jumped into this message. I didn't even totally introduce myself. I'm G1 Writer with G1 Insights, and... This is your career life focus, your life and love focus, your health, money, wealth, everything's fine, okay? Sorry about that. So, it seems like for those of you that are a natural born counselor, you need to tap more into that energy. So, if you notice that people always come to you with their problems, they're always venting, always telling you things, then you may be a natural born counselor. Okay, if you are a natural balance counselor, then many people will benefit from your guidance and reassurance. Okay, here it is, and that's Archangel Azrael. Okay, you also got a card here talking about new career, which is what excited me <laughs> because this could literally be that counseling career, right. Or this could be you. I feel like you guys need to be in a, a position where there's a lot of calmness, a lot of peace, a lot of harmony, a lot of contentment, helping people, solving people's issues. Even though you get really bored hearing people problems all day. To prevent you from being the one to complain all day. You need to be in a position where you are a, maybe a librarian, a counselor, a, a psychologist, psychiatrist, whatever. Like, you guys need to be the one um, where people can come to. And surprisingly, if you work in, like, customer service or if you work in a field where there's, like, a lot of chit-chat, like, People just talking all day long. They just chat, 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 right? And they just can't stop fucking talking. That's not the job for you. And I'll tell you that because Pisces are one of the most spiritual zodiac signs ever in the zodiac. And you guys can sense when things are either right or when they're wrong or when people need help or when they don't. And even when you feel a sense of doubt, you just know. It's something in you that says, hmm, I wonder why she's calling me. Hmm, I wonder why she needs a ride home. Or, like, it's just always that extra question mark. You know what I'm saying? And so as a Pisces, okay, you are being challenged to go there this season, okay? And the good thing is, I feel like you'll be find, finding a sense of your life purpose going through whatever it is that you're going to be going through this season, okay? Now, I do see new careers. So that can be anything ranging from either counseling, librarian work, or doing something um, extra creative, okay? Something that you really love, like art. Uh, maybe you love to paint, maybe you love to draw, maybe you love to dance, you can be doing maybe modern dance, um, you know, I just feel like you need to be doing something that helps to resonate with your soul, 
And if you are involved in a business dealing with finances, this would also be good for you because you love money and you know how to very well manage money, especially when it comes to you not wanting to spend money. Oh, yeah. One sign that can definitely hold on to some money is definitely you because you will spend money on whatever you want because you know you know how to get it right back. So you can use that effort and that energy to help other people who don't know how to manage money or who don't know how to successfully go for bargains or um, who don't know how to look out for good sales. Like that is where you coming at because you're really, really logical and smart when it comes to money management, okay? Now, when it comes to that peace of mind you're searching for, I feel like you will get that, but it's only going to come when you're doing what you love, Pisces. That is the whole trick about this whole entire season, okay? Now, November 7th, we will have a new moon in Scorpio, give or take a day. That new moon in Scorpio will have you feeling really empowered because that is your sister sign, my love. So you will be feeling really empowered, really sophisticated, really successful, uh, feeling really on top of the world, feeling really really educated, feeling really good, and you need it. I feel like you needed that extra boost, you know? And so don't be surprised if you get like extra rewards or extra money, maybe a raise or a promotion, or maybe someone just wants to help you invest in something that can help better or further your career, okay? Don't be surprised about that. If you are thinking about shifting your income or maybe changing your um you know, your career for whatever reason, then I can highly recommend that you go on my website to g1insights.org and take a look at some of the options that I have, okay? Because there's a lot going on with everyone this season where everybody's looking for like a little extra money to make, and I can definitely help you with that, okay? Now, when it comes to peace, remember that peace comes from remembering that only love is real. So if it's not in your heart, my love, then why do it? But this is absolutely something you love. Like if you realize that, you know, you're not happy when you're not being of service or if you realize that you're only happy when you're able to do something for someone, that lets you know what kind of individual you are. And you can have that total peace if you're not being able to be yourself, okay? So it's very important that you take note of what you love and what you don't love, what you really want and what you don't want. If you have people in your corner that want to help you grow to expand your horizon, then I expect you to actually get involved, okay? With someone who know what they're talking about, someone who had been there and done that, just because you all are older, it doesn't necessarily mean that you know it all. So you may run into a person who may be a little bit younger than you, but they may be also very inquisitive, very smart, very intelligent. They may be the one that you need to help you truly be successful. So don't look down on a person that may be a lot a little younger than you, or then you may feel like they have a um, little bit of experience in. Try not to overlook this person because I feel like they are the one that's going to actually be able to help you, okay? When it comes to love, you know, the universe wants to remind you, dear love, that you are safe to love. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. So I feel like the universe is blessing you with all of this love. But for some of you, a situation may occur where you may not be able to see your partner for a while. And I only say that just because I do see separation here. And I don't usually like when this card come out. But to understand that sometimes separation is necessary to help people grow, okay? So you and this person may feel like you need to separate or maybe you and your spouse was already separated and maybe now you're working things out. 
maybe whatever situation occur will have something dealing with this person separating from you for a while. And then maybe towards the end of November, by then, you will have a lot more clarity. You will be able to help this person out and help them through whatever it is that they're facing, okay? But you're only one person. And you can help other people when you are the one that needs help. Okay, now the universe is also saying that you need to stay optimistic about your love life. So that lets me know that even if there is some type of separation or temporary separation, honey, something is about to happen where everything is going to actually work out in your favor anyway. So you don't really need to be too worried or to feel like uh, too pressured about this situation or about this individual because or feel like they don't love you or feel like they don't care and you just want to give up and walk away like you don't have to feel like that this person will return unto you um positive thinking and faith will bring you romance Okay, so yes, have faith and just believe that it is going to work out. Even if you guys do have to separate for some time, it is still going to work out. Okay, even with separation being here, this can mean a ton of things. It can, it may never have to be someone being totally taken away. This could be maybe you are sleeping upstairs, maybe they're sleeping downstairs, maybe they're in the basement while you're on the couch. I don't know, but this can mean several, several things, my love. So don't get discouraged, okay? It doesn't necessarily mean that you guys are gonna break up and never see each other again, it doesn't mean that. I mean, it can mean that, but that's not like the total meaning of this card, okay? So, it could mean a actual separation, but it can also mean that maybe you guys just need to take some time apart for right now, and you will meet up later on. But it doesn't mean that this is forever, okay? So, do not, do not lose courage, okay? It is safe for you to love, so have faith, okay? This is another card that is encouraging you to have faith faith okay it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy okay so that lets me know that everything can be worked out no matter what you are facing no matter what you are going through everything can be worked out but you have to stay optimistic my love i also see goddess solace here okay goddess solace is here to just remind us that if we're going to go on a trip, if we're thinking about booking a trip, okay, we want to work on harmony, self-reflection, we want to forgive people, we want to work on our spirituality before we even take this trip, or we may need to take this trip to help us work on our spirituality. Regardless of whatever it is, we are working for a, a, a deeper power here, a deeper connection, okay? So if you're feeling like really low of energy, feeling like you're not really being yourself, don't really feel like you're being really inspired or happy, you want to call on Goddess Solace to help you, I would recommend that you take like a ritual bath of like sea salt. Um, I know cinnamon is really good. I know that um, I use sea salt. I use brown sugar a lot. And also um, rose petals, okay? Pink or red rose petals can also be really helpful. I know that even lavender rose petals will even help. So anything dealing with that will help you to relax and to rekindle anything dealing with yourself or your soulmate issues or relationship issues. If you are really that deeply spiritually grounded, then I can recommend this spiritual ritual for you, okay? Doing a sea salt bath, it will really, really help to help cleanse your aura and your energy and your overall process dealing with people or the outer world, okay? Now, the white tarot card is here as well when it comes to sensitivity, now, when it comes to this particular card, I would recommend that you work on your chakras because that is what this card basically is representing. Your third eye chakras more specifically, which is like located right here. If you look at the card closely, that is what is going on. There's a third eye right there. Do you see it? Third eye. Here we go. All right. But this one is there's an eye here. Okay, 
So you are becoming more increasingly sensitive. Avoid harsh relationships, environments, situations, and chemicals. Anything that does not represent what your sole purpose is, you may need to let it go. Okay? If it does not resonate with you, my love, you have to let it go. Okay? This is the perfect season to let go of what we no longer serve, what no longer serve us. Okay, we have the new moon in Scorpio, which is your sister sign. So that's going to be a blessing in itself, right? But then expect a lot of resources to also be popping up. Because Scorpio energy is very receptive, very curious. They want to know. They want to know things. So get ready for that energy, okay? The 12th, Mars will go into your sign, which is pushing you not to be so in a dream state, not to be so... Oh, it's La La Land. Yeah, you won't be doing any of that, okay? Mars in your sign is saying, fuck the dream, just go get it. <laughs> it's more direct. Mars is an action planet, so it's really pushing you to just go get it, okay? No more thinking, no more crying, no more worrying. We don't have time for that. Mars energy is pushing you to just go get it, okay? And then we're also dealing with that uh, energy, you know, the 22nd, it's going to be really powerful energy that is Thanksgiving here in the States. And then that same week, we're going to have that um, full moon in Gemini, okay, which is going to be really logical, a lot of intense emotions, really logical, very intuitive, pay attention to your intuition, Pisces. Gemini people are extremely intuitive, and this might actually boost your intuition or things that you feel or things that you hear, things that you see, different epiphanies or dreams or realizations. Pay attention to your intuitive energy towards the end of November because by then you will have a lot more clarity on whatever it is that you needed help on at the beginning of the month. You will be receiving that clarity towards the end of the month, okay? So be very, very open-minded to that, okay? Gemini energy is also, um, um, sometimes they can talk a little too much. So be very cautious not to brag too much or talk about too much of what you do for people. Be very cautious not to um, laugh at people that may be doing less than you or getting mad when people don't need your help or they feel like you're being overly too assistive. Um, yeah, try not to get, um, too emotional about that or too sensitive about those situations, okay? Um, overall, when it comes to money, I feel like you're going to be doing really good. When it comes to love, I feel like there's like a big question mark there, okay? Because it's telling you to stay optimistic. So this is have faith, but just in case it doesn't work out, you know, this is the new route we can take you. So, you know, or this is saying that, you know, keep the faith because it might actually work out for you. So, with love, it's like this big question mark, okay? But when it comes to your career and your finances, you may have to move or take a job in another country or another state because of your spouse. Or you may feel like you have to move or relocate because your spouse needs extra money. Or this may be some type of change coming in the home or anything done with your finances. You may be thinking about just simply taking a new job. I personally would not be too impulsive because like I said, Venus is still going retrograde up until the 16th of November. And then we had the Mercury planets going retrograde as well on the 16th so just as we think that everything feels good it's like oh my fucking god <laughs> like there's that feeling you know what i mean so be very cautious and try not to be so impulsive when it comes to switching your jobs or if you want to start a new business that's fine but just read the fine print make sure you're getting exactly what you're paying for um i would um, just make sure I'm watching my finances and I will budget my money as carefully as possible. Um, because Mercury Retrograde has a way of doing that as well. Be careful not to buy anything too expensive 
expensive during Mercury Retrograde too. Because if you buy too anything too expensive, by the time December 15th get here, you will be highly regretting it. So be very cautious not to invest in anything too expensive. And what I mean by too expensive, I mean like over $300 or $500, okay? If you have to pay something in pieces, then do so. But I would not necessarily just straight kick out $800 for something. I would not give somebody my my account and router number um, without really, really making sure that I'm reviewing everything, okay? Because during Mercury Retrograde, you might agree to $80 and they may take out $600 just to tell you the effect of Mercury Retrograde, okay? So be very, very careful about who you give your um, your information to, okay? So I love you, Pisces. Thank you so much for tuning in. Your reading was very direct. The good thing is, I mean, I didn't really have to do too much. I mean, even with... Dana, Goddess Dana being here, it really talks about you guys just having that divine knowledge and being able to help others through spiritual teaching. But I feel like you guys already know that about yourself. Like, I feel like you guys already know that. Even your spouse. So whatever situation you may be going through, even in love, just know that it is going to work out. But you have to have patience, okay? So I love you, Pisces. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like, share, and subscribe. Share this message around the world because every single Pisces needs to hear this message, okay? My website is g1insights.org. It should be posted below or literally a link in this video somewhere. So if you would like your personal reading, like I said, this is very general, okay? For each and every one of you, it's going to play out differently. So if you feel like you want something more personally just for you, then yes, reach out to me, inbox me, email me, call me, whatever it is that you feel resonates with you. We can get it settled, okay? So I love you. Have a great week, wherever you are in this beautiful universe. I thank you so much. Bye.